The first play in games tipped off for men's March Madness tonight. Soon our North Carolina schools start their runs toward a national title. One of the coaches leading NC State has ties to the triad. WFMY News 2's I. Denise McMiller spoke to the Mount Tabor alum as he prepares for the big stage. Since assistant coach Joel Justice played ball as a teen at Mount Tabor, he says he always wanted to make it to the NCAA and he his never ending love for the game has led him to the big dance. The hoop spirit runs in Joel Justice's blood. He grew up helping his dad with duties at Wake Forest basketball games, helping him do whatever I needed to do stats or back in the day, make phone calls to report scores to the Associated Press or the ESPN um, to then ultimately becoming a ball boy at the ACC tournament. Justice went from retrieving balls to getting playing time and making buckets as a student at Mount Tabor High School. I played for a, a legendary high school coach there, Andy Muse, who's still the coach there. Um, still have a great relationship with him. From there, he went on to play at UNC Wilmington and down the line became the assistant coach for NC State and now fresh into his coaching career, making it to the NCAA championship. Getting to the NCAA tournament was was a goal of mine as a young player, and, and that was our biggest thing that we talked about. So bringing that to, to NC State or to, to anywhere is, uh, you know, is, is to just keep focused you know, throughout the season. The team dominated in the ACC tournament, securing their spot in the national championship. We talked about going into D.C., limiting our mistakes, you know, still playing with confidence, playing with desperation on defense, but just limiting our mistakes. And, and our, our guys did that. Uh, they were amazing. As he and the team prepare to play in the NCAA tournament, Justice reflects on all the experiences that got him to this point. You know, was lucky enough to play at Mount Tabor High School and then went on to UNC Wilmington. So it's uh, had a, a wonderful, wonderful childhood. Very, very lucky, very, very blessed. And Justice says the team is still recovering from that five game win last week, but he says the team does plan to work out before the game against Texas Tech on Thursday.